Hi, my name is Bakan Dudovu and I come from South Africa, in the northwest of South Africa. I'm currently studying Applied Theology in AIU Religious Studies and today I'm going to share to you how it came about that I should study theology. Back home when I was still in high school, I used to be a person who would love to do accounting, who would love to do physical science, but I was a confused young person who didn't know what I wanted to do. I thought I knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't, I wasn't sure of what I wanted to do. So it came about that when I was still in my 10th grade, I wanted to do an accounting. And I was good in accounting at first, but later on I became really bad and, I'm, and my marks flunked. And then at, the, at a later stage in grade 11, I failed once again my physical sciences and I wanted to become an engineer. And when I reached my final grade, I was not sure of what I wanted to become. And over the years, I struggled to find what my purpose was. I knew that I loved preaching. I have a passion for preaching. But yet again, I was running away from preaching. I wanted something with more to do with me, something with, that would give me the necessary amount of marks, that would give me the necessary amount of salary. But in the end, I was chasing the wind. Now, I'd like to share a verse with you in Jeremiah chapter, five, chapter 1, verses 5, which says, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. It is only later on where I realized my purpose. And where I realized that my calling was that of God. That God was calling me into his work. God was calling me into this ministry that I'm currently in. As we speak today, I'm studying religious studies. Before I applied to study theology, I applied to all other universities. And they rejected me. All because I, did, I was chasing for something which God didn't want me to do. It is when I applied for theology, I understood what God was saying when he spoke to Jeremiah, saying, before I formed thee in the womb, I already knew thee. Before, I had fought, before you came out of the womb, I already ordained you as a prophet. And God continues to say in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, I know the thoughts that I have for you, thoughts to prosper you and not to harm you. In this day and age, we are looking at people who are confused about life, who do not know where they want to be in life. Today, I want to say to you, it is by God's will that you will be able to find your purpose. If you pray unto God, if you seek God first, God will give you a purpose which you will, want to, which we, which you will have one day. It is my prayer today that as you look into your life, you should consistently pray to God to show you the purpose that he has for you. Sometimes as a young person, you might have... You might think that you, must suppose, you are supposed to be this, this kind of a person. You are supposed to become an engineer, you are supposed to become a doctor or an accountant. But have you taken the time to inquire of the Lord and ask God, what, it is, what is it that you want out of me in this lifetime? What, it, what is it that you need from me in this lifetime? I ask God this same question and I ask God, God, what do you want me to achieve in this life? And God answered me in a simple way. There was a time where I believed that I was running away. There was a time where I felt like I was Jonah and I was swallowed by the things of the world. I was forced by peer pressure to do things that I didn't want to do, to go to schools that I was not even sure I would do, I would become what I want to become. But by the mercies of God, he called me and said, this is where you're supposed to be. And today I'm a satisfied person. I'm a happy person to be knowing that I'm studying what God wants me to become. And in future, I will become what God wants me to become. It is, my, it is my wish that to see young people out there to become what they want to become and to become what God wants them to become. God has a plan for us and God has a mission for us. A question you should ask yourself is, what is God's mission in me? What does God want from me? What does God require from me as a young person, as an old person, as a student, as a working person, as a boss and as an employee? Be the great person that God wants you to be and become a spectacle. God wants to make us spectacles. Many people didn't believe me when I said, I will study religious studies, I will study applied theology. They didn't believe in me, but immediately when the school that I applied to accepted me, it is then where I knew this is where God wants me to be. And all these things are done prayerfully. So for you to know your purpose and your will in God, it is only by you praying to God and asking for God's guidance and asking for God's wisdom. David says in my favorite Psalm, in Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. 
He leads me in paths of righteousness. He leads me beside the still waters. And even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. At this point in time, I want to say to you today, God is my shepherd. God is the one who directs my path. God is the one who leads me where people believe I will not be able to conquer. God is the person who is able to make me overcome all the challenges that I face in each and every day life, all the obstacles that the devil brings in front of me. The question you should ask yourself is, who is your shepherd? And are you following the shepherd? Are you following the great shepherd? Sometimes the road that you take, which God leads you into, might be hard. But God said, fear not, I am with you always, even unto the end of the age. Now the question comes to mind, what is your purpose? And are you following your shepherd? I have mentioned two points today to know your purpose and ask God what's your purpose. And another, another point I mentioned is to have a shepherd. My shepherd is God. I wonder who's your shepherd. The question comes to mind today as we are living, what am I doing in this world? Is it beneficial? Will it be a point of, will it lead me to a point of salvation? I ask you this question today. What will you gain from what you are doing if it doesn't benefit you eternally? God says it is better to con concentrate on things that are eternal than things that are temporal. It is nice to have fun times now, but fun times on earth are temporary. But things that are coming in heaven are eternal. So my prayer today, it is that you find your purpose in God. And if you find your purpose in God, and God is your shepherd, then you will re you'll be guaranteed to have an eternal life. And all these things can be done through prayer. Not only prayer though, but also through faith. For Paul writes in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, Without faith, it is impossible to please God. For he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So today I'm saying to you today, seek God first. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all things shall be added unto you. I hope and pray that whatever you are looking for in life, God grants it to you. And whatever God wants you to do with him, you will be able to avail yourself. Do not adopt the Jonah mentality of running away when God calls you. But adopt the, the Isaiah method when God asks you, whom shall I send? And then you say, here am I, O Lord, send me. It is my prayer today that you continue following God. And God should be your shepherd. And God should, be, should give you the focus and the purpose that you need for. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.